Hi, I'm Todd Berryman from 92.3 WTTS. It's always been interesting to me to see how technology has progressed, especially in the field of music. And when you look at what the Beatles accomplished back in the 60s, it was a huge feat. I mean, basically, it's a situation where the technology had to chase them. They had to, at some point, their creative process spawned a lot of technologies in the studio that were kind of hard to duplicate on stage, which ultimately is why they had to step away from doing live performances. It simply just wasn't there at a live reinforcement level. Uh, you look at the feats that they did with things like artificial double tracking with certain special effects in the studio with backwards playing, you name it. It's just stuff, you know, and then, and then adding orchestral instruments on top of that. You really just didn't have a way to put it on stage and it's kind of not really a surprise that they retreated and started working in the studio uh, at uh, the later point of their career. But what's happened as time has progressed is, you know, here we are 30, 40 years down the line from what the Beatles did in the studio, and various companies have found ways to do good live sound, live reinforcement uh, effects that only could be generated in the studio before can now be done on stage. And so as a result of this, you have a band that is capable of replicating uh, the Beatles' experience on stage. Um, it, it's something tricky. You know, the early pieces, it's not so complicated, but as you get further and further into it, you have to really ha be much more savvy about how you present this stuff, and this is where Rain comes in. Uh, something you should know about Rain is this, this is a bunch of guys who basically did their tribute to the Beatles, and they actually predate Beatlemania. A lot of people, you know, aren't sure about that, but actually it does come before that. And in fact, Dick Clark at some point needed musicians to work on a soundtrack called Birth of the Beatles, and that basically Rain was the band he looked to, and then ultimately at some point uh, you have some interaction between those two camps. But uh, it's very interesting to see how they do such a successful job of replicating that experience down to just the dynamic range of it, and uh, it's, it's a very interesting presentation, and I hope you'll uh, be sure to join us.